up everybody? It's George here, we're back with another video. Now today's video is gonna be a test video. We're testing the Dominator V2 HD headset. Today we're gonna to be doing the 5.8 megahertz system test. I'll be using the 5.0 megahertz receiver with the dual antennas, and I'm also going to use an SD card and use the built-in DVR to record it as well. I'll superimpose that over the video that we're going to get from the GoPro so you can kind of compare the two. Now today we're going to be using my Team Losi slider. I have my video rig set up on it and all ready to go so why don't we take a quick look at it before we head outside. Okay so here's the rig we'll be using for the testing. On it I have my GoPro mount uh, which has my camera and my 5.8 gigahertz transmitter with the SpiroNet antenna. Also have my GoPro, I'll be popping that on for some high definition footage. I'm using a 2200 milliamp LiPo to power the whole thing and that's what we're going to be using. So uh, let's go outside and see how it works.
there you have it, a very successful ground test of the Dominator V2 HD headset. I got to tell you, number one, I was very pleased. It was a large picture, very clear. I had absolutely no problem seeing it at all, and it was very immersive with them on while I was driving. I can tell you that the band that they put around the head, the foam, is much better than the eye cups of the older versions. The eye cups kind of put pressure on my eyes, and this made it just sit right on my head. It was almost like I didn't have it on at all. Another thing that I did notice on the downside is, is that there was quite a bit of static in the picture, but my understanding is, is that's a combination of number one, 5.8 megahertz systems are prone to that, and number two, my setup on my Team Losi needs to be a little bit better. But overall, everything worked exactly according to plan. Even the anti-fogging, it started to fog up just a little bit, I pushed the button, fan came on, I didn't hear it or feel it, but I sure could see the result, and the, the fog was instantly gone. Very nicely done, great engineering, and this test was a great success, and I like them so far. So the next thing is, is to test it in the air. I'll be using my DJI Phantom 3 Professional for that, and that video is going to be coming soon. Another project I have in the works is I'm going to be picking up a new camera. I currently have a Canon SureShot, one of those little 8 megapixel autofocus shoot and go cameras and it's been a great camera for a lot of years but back in the old days I used to shoot 35mm and I think I want to get back into something where I have control over the aperture, the ISO, the shutter speed, the f-stop, you know, uh, back to bare bones photography. That being said, there's a lot of choices out there, so I'll probably do a video on my selection process, maybe an unboxing of whatever I purchased, but look for those videos coming soon. Well, that's about it, so thanks for watching, and as always, happy RCing, friends!